Uh, it felt good because the first time we played them, it was a hard loss, and we weren't really that prepared, and we got a lot better. He makes a lot because then people they have to double team on him, and he can kick it out, and people can shoot a three. Last game, I don't think he was shot at all. This game, he did a lot better. But I stole it, and uh, I almost lost it. And then uh, I gathered myself, and everyone was waiting for me to do two-handed dunk, so I just finally did it. Oh, uh, coach just told me not to let him, try not to let him touch the ball and stay on him as much. And uh, he told me to sag off a little bit when he's not as close to land and stuff. And he told me to be physical with him because it messes up, throws off his game a lot. It felt real good to beat them. We know they're uh, ahead, ahead in the conference, and we need to prove a statement in there. It's bad it happens at the end of the season. We played down there and it's, I don't know, they beat us on three threes and free throws and we gotta keep them off the free throw line and get a handle face. It gives us a lot of times going into we got senior night next and then one more game and then the sub state and we know we gotta what we gotta do in there and get a win. I really thought the only the only disappointing part uh, was we hit that one stretch where we got comfortable shooting uh, shots that aren't good in that situation. And um, we, we took too many threes in one stretch and, and kind of forgot what the game plan was there. But they recovered. You know, our, our guys were really resilient tonight in terms of the defensive end. And we had a lot of guys step up. Well, you know, our biggest game's inside. It's, it, we're not a mystery. Uh, so we had to put something in. We, we saw how they played us down there. Uh, Murph took one shot, I think, or, or none the last time we played him. So we knew he had to get some looks. Um, Alonzo and Frazier had to be able to step up and make that 15-footer. And I think in the, in the stretch that really kind of decided the game, Alonzo hit a couple little elbow jumpers uh, where they stood in help side protecting Murph. And, and that was a big difference in the game for us. I, not to downplay Seamus at all, but he was there for the game plan and stuff. But, you know, the kids are going to feel more comfortable with their with the head coach there. And, you know, we've had a situation where I was in the hospital a couple, a couple of seasons ago and Coach Glover had to step in. So we can kind of relate to that. And, and um, you know, I thought they got a good team. You know, they, they took a tough shot on Tuesday. And, and then I think we got a good team. And, and so they had, a, they had a tough stretch of a couple good teams. I mean, they're you know they they played for a conference title last night at Bet or no, Tuesday night at Bettendorf, and, and you know Bettendorf is an awful good team, and so I didn't take anything away from them. But you know I'm proud of our guys tonight. I think you know we really controlled the game from start to finish. We played 32 minutes and got a lot of contributions, a lot of guys. I think Alonzo hitting some buckets was big for us, um, but really I thought it was a team effort. We had any time we had went in, we had five solid guys on the floor and. You know, Dave hit one stretch there in the fourth quarter where we had to get him a rest um, just because of his effort, effort on both ends. And, and uh, so we had some guys step up and play some crucial minutes there. And, you know, we bent, we bent, but we didn't break. I think, you know, hopefully we can carry that on the next two games and, and uh, into the sub-state. Well, we met, you know, I thought we matched him and Jake both. Uh, we tried to give him breaks on and off and switch back and forth to give him different looks. and and. You know, David is, he's one of those guys you watch a game and he may not make a play for three or four possessions and then it's like, wow, you know, where did that come from? Um, so, you know, he's a great kid, great kid off the floor and it's nice to see him have success both football and basketball.